Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Saudi Arabia 1, Mexico 2, Uno a Dos, Mexico in World Cup Group C, match day 3. Mexico wins, but it's not enough. They needed to win by 3 or be above Poland by 3 goals on goal differential. They go for that third goal and get hit on the counter because Argentina couldn't score more than two, but they should have as well. It's a similar situation in both games. Argentina should have scored more. They were dominating Poland. Mexico dominated Saudi Arabia even more so. Should have scored more than two. They should have already had three going into those last couple of minutes. The Alexi Vega early chance, the header in the first half that they bottled. They should have had three already. So this is already on them. Stats are as follows. Goals at halftime, nil-nil, cero a cero, Mexico. Though. A lot of chances. A lot. Saudi Arabia only had 50 complete passes. 50. 50. Mexico were dominating them. They were going forward, ramming it down their throat, ramming it down the gullet, and just said, we going to score. Alexi Vega, really early on, had a really good chance. If he popped it over the keeper... That would have been a goal. That would have been three. The header, if that wasn't scored, it was right there. But Mohamed Alawais stood firm, stood tall. Saudi Arabia defensively stood in like a shield, but Alawais had to do some work. And if this was still nil-nil or it was one-nil, he would be man of the match. But Alawais stood in that first half, did some work, especially in the second half. Hell, he had a good game, even letting in two goals. He had a pretty good game. He's the reason... He's one of the main reasons Mexico ain't gone to the knockouts would be Tata Martino, Alawais, and Salam Aldasari. But goals were scored as follows. 48th minute, Henry Martin, ball crossed in, right at him, taps it in, right before Alawais gets there. Not the most beautiful goal, but it counts. Mexico are on their way. Uno a cero. Luis Chavez in the 52nd minute. What a banger off the free kick. Gets a free kick, takes it, puts it top bins. Alawais cannot touch it. No questions asked. He can't do nothing. Banger of a free kick by Luis Chavez. Nil to Cero a dos. Luis Chavez. Banger of a goal. A champion. Helps Mexico put themselves right on the brink. But Argentina does not score again. They do not make it 3-0. Mexico has to go for another. And... They could have had another free kick by Chavez earlier in the game. Could have made it 3-0 as well. He could have scored two free kicks. He was this close. He was this close. A whisker close. A nose hair this close to scoring another free kick. But in the 90-plus fifth minute, Mexico's going for it. They're pushing as far as they can. Salomon de Swati on the counterattack. Open, just has to run, has open space, has green in front of him, takes the shot. Ochoa can't do nothing about it. Uno a dos, Saudi Arabia, Salam al Daswadi, Daswadi, Daswadi goal. That's got to hurt, but it's not as bad as losing on fair play points, isn't it? Stats are as follows 10 shots to 26, 2 shots on goal to 11, 39% possession to 61% possession, 286 passes to 425, 58% pass accuracy to 76, 20 fouls to 18, 2 offside to 6. Six yellow cards to one, no yellow, no red cards on either side, one corner to eight. Which means group C ends up like this. As I said, Portugal or Poland. Poland lost 2-0 to Argentina, Cero Adults. Group C, first place, Argentina six points. They advance. Poland in second with four points and an even zero goal differential. They advance. Mexico in third with four points, minus one goal differential. Saudi Arabia in fourth place with three points. At least had that upset. Eliminated. Mexico and Saudi Arabia are eliminated. And it means Argentina will go play Australia. Poland will play France, which that should be a banger of a game, just so you know. With that being said... Mexico, this is all on you. This is all on you. You didn't score enough. You could have easily scored against Poland. You didn't. You could have let it be 1-0 against Argentina. You didn't. And then when you actually have something to go for. A determined Mexico is a dangerous Mexico. I said that multiple times through the stream. You were dangerous. You could have had three. You could have had four. You didn't. And you allowed one. 
Them's the breaks. Tactically, this was your best 11. Why not play it every game? Why not play it against Poland? Why not play it? Let me look. Let me look. Hold on. All right, let me look. Nah, I gotta look. All right, game one. Ochoa, Moreno, Araujo. Araujo played against Argentina. Not smart. Montez, okay, Alvarez. Better as a sub. Herrera. He had no place in this World Cup. Guardado. It, Mexico was better without him. Mexico was better without him. Edson was better. Chavez. Got a goal. Good for him. Gallardo. Jesus Gallardo was a winger. Left mid. Eh, not too good. Lozano. Great. Vega. I'm good with it. But let's also look at the last one. Let's look at the last one. Or the first one, I should say. You got... Here we go. Ochoa, Sanchez, Montez, Moreno, Gallardo. That was the back four. Alvarez, good. Herrera, still. Shouldn't have played Poland. I think he could have done better. Guardado, probably. Chavez, Lozano, Martin, Martin, Vega. Yeah, Poland's was a little bit better, but you didn't get anything out of that. But the Argentina game? That 11 sucked. This was Mexico's best 11 in this game. Could have played it another time. Maybe throwing Guardado in there wouldn't have been too bad. But pace-wise, this was pretty good. And frankly enough, Mexico shot themselves in the foot. They did not play their best players enough. They didn't. They played some older players that deserved loyalty, and that hurt them. Hector Herrera is not good anymore. He didn't play that well in the, other, the first two games. I, I didn't think so, and it was good that he never came on in this game. This 11 was their best 11. They could have played it more. They really could have, and they didn't. Mexico legitimately, tactically, play-wise, and on the pitch, did this to themselves. They're in this position because of the way they played this World Cup. They played too cowardly. Oh, They played too cowardly. And the thing about this game is, is to me, Mexico could have easily scored another two goals. We wouldn't be talking about this. We wouldn't be saying that Mexico played cowardly. We wouldn't be saying that Mexico blew it. But they did. They put themselves in a position to blow it. They almost rectified it and then still blew it. And, yeah, I'd rather lose to the fact that you allow a goal instead of fair play points. But, damn it, the way you play, it sort of bit you in the behind, didn't it? You play tough. You play dirty-ish. Arguably dirty. It bit you in the butt. Smartly enough, you didn't even get any yellow cards in this game except one. You knew. You knew what the score was. And it almost turned out your way. Argentina didn't get that third goal. Y'all didn't get a third goal, and you allowed one. The way this game went was an absolute heartbreaker, frankly. And I feel sorry for y'all. I, I do feel sorry for Mexico. Because I wanted y'all to get through this. I wanted y'all to win. I wanted y'all to get out of the group. Because CONCACAF, I wanted y'all to get out of the group. And you sit here and just say, you know what? Let's give people hope and then rip their hearts out. No. You should have played this group a lot better tactically, just in general. This group, you're out. Because Poland, you could have easily played this lineup and beat them with speed, which you did here with Saudi, with Pace. You could have beat them there. Argentina, I think you played the right way because you had to play the right way. But once they put on Enzo Fernandez, it just was shown that basically Argentina kind of helped you play that way. And then here, good 11, good game, could have won by more. You didn't, and that bit you in the behind. You could have easily got a goal off of Portugal, in the, not Portugal, Poland, in the first game. You could have. You could have. And that would have been absolutely enough. Because that would have been, instead of four points, seven points, six points. But no, y'all really should have beaten Poland. O Ochoa had that great save. You really should have beaten Poland, though. You beat Poland. We're not talking about this, but you didn't. 
I'm not saying you hold that draw against Argentina because, again, they sort of helped you go through the first half of the draw. They sort of helped you do that. But they sort of played into your hands. But with that being said, Mexico, you don't have yourself to blame. You played a great game. You kicked Saudi Arabia's ass. Not enough, though. That's all I could say. Argentina almost helped you. You didn't do enough. That's football. That's life. You're out in the group stage. No quinto partido. Not even a fourth game. Not even... Yeah, not even the fourth game. Not even the round of 16. You're out in the group stage. And that's been... This is the first time in years. In a while. In my lifetime. It hurts to see, honestly. It really does. CONCACAF probably only has one team in the knockout stages. I can't believe it. And it's the USA. Ain't that some? Costa Rica's not getting out of the group. I don't think. I want Japan to get out of the group. And I want Spain to get out of the group. So, we'll see what happens. But with that being said, Mexico, this is on you. Tata out. Fuera Tata. He's gone anyway. And build back better for 26. And don't do this again. But I think this is a lesson to learn. So with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe. Send Super Giants on live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play. Share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review of Canada versus Morocco in the Group F final day. Because it's a Canada game. I'm still talking about it. And... A watch-along of Japan versus Spain. Just a watch-along, though. We'll reverse the order. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Commiserations, Mexico. Commiserations, Saudi. Congratulations, Portugal and Argentina on moving through. I'm out. Peace.